just straightforward matured conversations i'll now breathe mahasada shiva space into every one of your inner space let's complete with all the past incompletions and drop first step next let's rejuvenate ourselves and recommit with the responsibility to this great principle of integrity authenticity responsibility enriching we are starting completely new past is not failure future will be successful let's open the source of adi shakti in inner space today I will initiate and pump you guys with Adi Shakti. Wendy Pryor from Plano, Texas had a miraculous experience to share after she was initiated into remote healing through the third eye through Nayana Diksha, initiation via two-way video conferencing. Wendy reported that that by looking through the third eye she was able to heal the high blood sugar of her husband hari a diabetic needing to use insulin up to 5 times most days wendy says before healing hari's blood sugar was very high 222 and after healing it was perfect better than even if he had taken insulin thank you shri nityananda swami for this amazing initiation We are grateful and love you. Maniti Kuberananda who has had blood sugar high blood sugar for the last 4 years and she was kind of containing it but she didn't really know how to reduce it down. So it has been high under the in the range of 120 to 130. That's her blood sugar level that she has been having. So we took a picture before we actually did the third eye healing. And then Jnana Prakashananda Maharaj he scan her through his third eye and did a third eye healing for her and after he finished the third eye healing the results that we found were mind blowing we are actually going to project the actual reading from 126 to the blood sugar level of now it is just 99 with just 3 minutes of third eye healing we were able to bring down the blood sugar level from 126 to 99 so Uh, we're here at the temple and we have been preparing for Mahastashi Bhavan for uh, two or three weeks now and we have a very nice uh, temple project coming up. Uh, you can see uh, in the background here all the, uh, we, all the different construction that's going on. Uh, we have one large uh, 140 by 140 building uh, that will come up uh, over here in the main uh, temple area. and then uh we'll have uh, a beautiful inside actually uh it'll have 108 uh, old stone pillars and uh, a beautiful facade up top uh, carved uh, uh teak wood uh so it'll be very special for mahastashi bhavan and so we're just uh, continuing to prepare and uh, looking forward to everyone coming to mahastashi bhavan <laughs>